not too much that we need to discuss or go over. Looks like the voxels and the monitors are engaging each other alongside the actors and the battleship. Oh boy. This is, yeah, that's 9,000 points of ANS Capitals right there, firing into the Alpha Point. They're going to down the shuttle that's trying to capture the Alpha Point. They're going to start killing monitors too, although the 450 bulk freighters are cutting these boxes shreds, firing 450 AP in here. Hello, and welcome to Aorta. Doing more stack for stack gaming on the Coliseum. Team 1 ANS, Team 2 OSP, Duke of Stars, Lobster, Three Cats, Trench Coat, and Vastal on ANS. Nick, Subtle Hubris Crow, and Internet Explorer on OSP. Looks like OSP setting up to take control of Bravo and Alpha and possibly fight down in the Warrens. They're only sending one ship down to the Charlie Point. They also have a couple ships going wide. ANS is set up in a similar but opposite pattern, sending a lot of vessels into the Warren side of Aorta. That might make for some bloody bloody fights between beams and monitors. We're driving down here with the ANS team. I believe this is Vastel. Oh yeah, it's pretty obviously Vastel's battleship. <laughs> you know whose icon that belongs to? Uh, just turn for this emblem, emblem badge, badge. One of those, any of those, all of those. Got a 40 battleship here with uh, one single 120 side arm. That doesn't make any sense. Now two 120 side arms, some soft kill, an extra antenna. A little bit of hard kill around the sides too. He's supported with two Pinard Corvettes, three Pinard Corvettes. Okay, okay, all right. One of them with anti-jam capabilities. Lobster rocking the triple voxel. Hell yeah! We never see anybody play these anymore, but they're awesome. They're really cool builds. It's guns. It's rebounds. I take it back. Unbelievably cursed. Okay, Lobster going to be relying on RPF and rebounds to stay safe versus the missiles, although. And this day and age, with most of the missile threats being small volumes of S2s from MMTs, these might be entirely fine, but it's... They're obviously going to be vulnerable to containers, which OSP presumably doesn't have any of, considering they don't have a container liner. Duke of Stars! One... Monstrosity Voxel, half Mark 64s, half VLS-3 tubes. <laughs> Torpedoes, no less. No hybrids on this thing at all. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Gonna make for... The enemy is securing zone eclipse. I don't know. I think this is a goalie. I think this is a goalie. Because he's got... Yeah, it's it's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. So he's got three... No, he's got two... Missile, half S3H, half torpedo sprinters with some 120 guns on board. Man, highball getting bounced too. All the spectators suffering immensely today. Not sure what's going on there. Two Pinard 120 ships. Oh, oh, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, four Pinard 120 ships floating around. And then two nearly naked camping sprinters, both being yellowed onto the alpha point, which is a necessity. And three cats with a double axe for build. Spinners or reinforced mag, yeah, we just talked about that. Ammo vaders, double reactor and one raider? I don't know about that one, Chief. Very questionable. Row on OSP triple bulk freighters. Is this triple 450 bulk freighters? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. No hard kill on these whatsoever. One chaff box a pop. You're not going to be able to afford it much in the way of AMMs, though. Oh, yeah. A few AMMs, more than I was expecting, and a handful of chaff. That's eh, quite the gamble gamble. I'm surprised no, uh, none of the big chaff. I think I'm pretty sure that's small chaff. Not big chaff. Thick chaff. So, we're going to see how well that goes. Internet Explorer also with a 450 bulk credit. This one has a little more teeth. Got T20s all around, presumably as both budget Sarissa and as anti-light. He's supported with ooh, a wing of Torp Tugs. No, this isn't a wing of Torp Tugs. This is a, a fleet of Torp Tugs all heading for the Alpha Point. I hope they don't jump onto the Alpha Point. Otherwise, they're going to get ruined by the voxels, but if they camp out here underneath the bowl OSP side, be able to control that. The monitors on OSP team uh, bombing the bejesus out of the cheap, appropriately named. And I think Ophelia K. Wardieu is going to get bombed here very shortly. Yeah, there's some missiles coming in. 
So I don't think Anus is gonna be able to scare that off a point, but sometimes it goes differently. Nick has a wing of rocket shuttles. A few MMTs spread around three of them. One EWR tug and two mine shuttles, nice. And one T20 gun shuttle. Going for that ACAB, yeah. Both of ANS's sprinters get downed before they secure that alpha point. So hubris rocking. C90, T30. Monitors, just C90s and T30s. No plasma required. Oh. I don't think I saw any plasma on this team. No, just uh, 450s. A ton of 450s, though. Just gonna make life hell for the voxels. But OSP doesn't really have anything to deal with the battleship, and they kind of don't have anything to deal with the experts. They do have the armada of twerp tugs, but those are going to have to be used very carefully. Very carefully to be effective versus those. No one's able to capture Alpha. Both teams do capture their naturals. OSP capturing their naturals faster than ANS, so uh, here, sometime within the next nine or ten minutes. ANS is gonna have to get something done or fall hopelessly behind on the caps. For now things are gonna stabilize. ANS hanging out here on the white rock up top and OSP hanging out in kind of the Warren's area and below the bowl. Trolling Alpha and exerting pressure on Delta, maintaining their own Bravo side. Charlie's pretty wide open though, so ANS could make a strong capital push over there, but I think the monitors and the torp tugs could rotate pretty easily. And that, that's why so that's why uh Aorta is so comparable to pillars as far as controlling the center point goes. <clears throat> really, this is probably the most pure controlling the center point map. Oh my god. Hello, test, test. Yes, my voice is now functioning once again, it seems. There we go. Aorta is probably the most pure controlling the center point side of the map because it's so easy to control your naturals since you can sit right into the middle and exert pressure and be able to fire into both naturals and also the alpha point all at the same time while being uh, far enough away from your opponent's front line that you're not in immediate danger. The monitor is pushing forward Quite quickly, going for a little bit of a transfer, trying to get under the bowl here. They are taking a lot of 450 fire from the two experts in the battleship, but it's not actually doing that much. They don't have a lock. And at this weird angle the monitors are playing out, most of these rounds are missing. A little bit of damage here, but most of that can be repaired. Ooh, Luke does lose the, uh, the VLS-1. Gonna be able to get some heavy damage out on one of the sprinters, though. Something happening with a container that I think I missed. Maybe a decoy container. Clutch of eggs laid down on the Bravo plank. Gonna protect that quite effectively from anything pushing through the Warrens up onto Bravo. Anus and OSP both hanging out on top of the map with a couple of their lighter ships. Nick going in with an entire wing of rocket shuttles. Anus, of course, being able to spot that with a scouting sh sprinter, but not able to really do anything about it with that sprinter. Uh, the uh, Charlie point up here, or the Delta point rather, is going to be under quite a bit of threat. Shuttle's now jamming that sprinter, but it's a little too late. They know that these ships are on the way, and the voxels are rotating immediately. Nice, nice, good play out of Lobster. With, ooh, single drive raiders on these voxels. No whips. They're going to be really ha have to be careful with that burn. So they should be able to make the move over here with great speed and zone out the shuttles. In fact, I think the shuttles know it, that they've been detected, and so they're going after the scouting ship instead of dive bombing onto the point to try and capture that. It's going to be a really positional game. 
We, uh, and both teams recognize that after their initial A push failed and shifting to the uh, slow steady tactics mode. Which is really cool to see. God, I, I love that we have so many strong players around here. That's one very dead sprinter. <laughs> And take many rocks to take out one of those. Voxels now changing their minds on that migration to Delta. They're now shifting over so that way when the, if the rocket shuttles come over the top here, they'll be able to dust them off a little bit with some RPF. Uh, the shuttles are going to throw on the brakes and they are going to avoid taking that free fire. They're going to probably hang out on top of the plate up here and hide and wait for a good opportunity to strike that lower point. Another mindset has been laid on Charlie. And we've got three sprinters, four sprinters. No, 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 that one's under the map. Under the map. Okay, interesting. Three sprinters here getting sight on to the Charlie point. One of the Bastille support, Bernard Sprinters, and two of Duke's cap ships. He's going to have to be real careful about where they come in. Yeah, and it looks like they're taking the flank pretty wide, so they should be able to spot the mines before getting ruined by them, and we'll be able to see if uh, RPF works properly on mines that have been laid against a rock. That is one of the quality of life bug fixes that has been implemented this patch. Oh yeah, we are on the testing branch. I haven't uh, mentioned that, I think, on any of our games. Uh, but we are on the testing branch. Not a, not a ton of balance changes, just a lot of quality of life stuff. Some things helping new players, like uh, the removal of the birthing, and some things helping everyone. A lot of bug fixes, like uh, fuel line fires dealing damage, and a uh, little, little, little quality of life things. Not, not too much that we need to discuss or go over. Looks like the voxels and the monitors are engaging each other alongside the actors and the battleship. Oh boy. This is... Yeah, that's 9,000 points of ANS Capitals right there firing into the Alpha Point. They're going to down the shuttle that's trying to capture the Alpha Point. They're going to start killing monitors too. Although the 450 bulk freighters are cutting these voxels to shreds. Firing 450 AP in here. Downing one of the lo large lockers. Downing one of the Mark 64s, dealing heavy damage to the ammo elevators. Oh yeah, that's uh, it's a lot of damage. Would have been more from HE, but AP doing a good job of taking things out. And those both are going to very quickly need to get to cover. Or they're going to get yeah a response in kind from the Axfords and the Voxels and the battleship. I believe the sprinter has detected the mines down here. Yeah, he has to, right? Like, he's, he's going way, way far around. And he is engaging this multi mission tug, which is firing jamming down the field. Very effective jamming. One of the sprinters is going nuclear. It's trying to get closer to that multi mission tug. Missiles out. Yeah, I think both these sprinters are just going to die to this tug. They're not set up to fight these at all. Bonk, 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 bonk. And that's, yep, both of them down. That ANS push onto Charlie with those sprinters gonna be blunted. The rocket shuttles. Yeah, they've decided that the uh, the bulk freighters, the monitors fighting on Alpha has given them an opportunity, so they're gonna dive down here onto the Delta Point very soon. Those monitors are going to have to keep that engagement going, though. Oh, they backed off. And where are the bulk freighters? Because the bulk freighters definitely have to back off and as they're reloading. Yeah, without the bulk freighters and the monitor threatening that alpha point, the capitals and the voxels can easily rotate onto Delta. OSP does manage to secure the Alpha Point, though. With... I'm not even sure with what. I think this tug is the uh, the new target here. It was indeed a tug. Thank you. 
That's a big deal. ANS now immediately has to go on the offensive and get that alpha point back. They can afford to hang back for a little bit if they've got a slight points disadvantage, but they cannot afford to hang back on Aorta with a cap disadvantage. OSP gonna make use of this alpha capture and the resulting displacement of the Axe and the Voxels to dive onto the Delta Point. The Rock Shuttles are detected. They're launching rockets at their detector, which is parked and is dead, is very dead. Is dead three times over. Rock Shell still on the radar, presumably prone the Voxels parallaxes. Voxels switching over to the Delta Point, but if they don't rise, those shuttles are going to very quickly be occluded. Fly that big rock. Once that happens, they're going to be able to take the point for free. I believe the sprinter down here. No, that's it. I mean, it's got a gun on it. That is not enough to defend the point. One Mark 61 is not going to cut it. This bulk freighter is getting shelled quite heavily. Not really doing much more damage. I think I haven't seen anything being fired from them. Yeah, they're coming out at these strange angles from cover. And the rocket shuttle's doing it. They're in RPF hell. Oh yeah, the, these things are just gonna die. They're not gonna be able to dive onto the Delta Point, no way. Not for long enough to cap it anyway. Torp Tug Swarms handling this sprinter down here with their 100mm nose guns. Oh man. I want to watch those kill a guy. The enemy is securing his own dagger. But I don't think that's going to happen, at least not for a while. Those Torf Tugs are not quite close enough to the to the capital group that they can just jump on them. And I bet... Okay, so they do have sun drives in them. That's going to open up that window a little bit more. But those Torx have got to have cork. Torx? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's our new term for torps with pork, is torques. It, it has been decreed. Um, and probably commands. Are they city active? I have no idea. I can see either. I didn't see a lighthouse in that group. It's probably not city active. Monitor's still just zoning the... Uh, ANS team, they're trapped inside their own spawn. They can't really push in, because if they do push in onto that off point, they're just gonna walk and die. Yeah, OSP. I think OSP's got it. I have four points. Uh, ANS. So the, one of those rocket shuttles did manage to get on a Delta and cap the point. The boxes are going to come over there, but it's going to take 50 seconds for them to get onto the point, and then another full minute for them to capture the point. Uh, and they, they can't go on to Alpha. They don't have anything that can go on to Alpha. They'll just die. They don't have anything in position to go to Charlie. They can cover Echo, sort of. But even if they get Delta back, I don't really see a way where they get a third point and can come out ahead. I'm gonna quickly, quickly, quickly fall behind. Already 100 points down, but that 4-to-1 lead is going to make that gap very large and very fast. OSP's, yeah, got really good position to keep anything off of the alpha point. I think those tugs are trying to get into a position where they can just delete the capitals. So that would truly secure the game. And 
Capital's really not able to damage these monitors that much? Okay, they've got a lock on one. Man, like 70% of that volume missed. Okay, there we go, there we go. That's a better volley. Monitors losing some of their T30 guns, but that actually doesn't matter. They can't use those on the capitals anyways, and that's the real threat. C90 goes down, that's that's important. Monitors are still quite dangerous. OSP might be able to grab Echo at some point. No, no way, that would be way too greedy. Yeah, those boxes are onto the D point, but by the time they get it back, ANS is going to be about 200 points down. Maybe 170 points down. The Torps do be out. I don't know what they're going for, though. Ah, uh, they're going for the tugs. Some of them are going for the tugs. Aha! Some of them are going for the bulk rider. Oh, they're gonna land! Oh yeah, T20 not able to handle the decoy torps. The new Doom is doomed. And it just takes a little bit of 250 to punch that out. The torp tugs, however, gonna return fire with their 100 mil, and the 450 bolt critter already did quite a bit of damage to this thing, so I think some of the 100 mil AP is actually gonna be able to do a little bit of damage here. Due to the sandblasting effect, oh, this hasn't taken that many hits. Counter tour volley out, yeah, command wake. <laughs> With weave instead of cork. Okay, so these are gonna be a little bit longer range than I originally anticipated. Absolutely annihilating the tsunami. I was just able to launch a couple more torpedoes, but uh, this voxel is not long for the world. Neither are those tugs. They're getting shot at by 450 fire, and at close range, 450 fire is pretty much death sentence for tugs, especially if they get locked. Even at this angle, some of those shells are going to burst inside. Even the ones that over penetrate are going to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. ANS does recover the delta point, but they are 200 points down, and that gap is getting wider every second. For every. How long does it take? 5 seconds? 10 seconds? Every tick. Yeah, a lot of dead ships on OSP's side, but pretty much equal dead numbers on ANS, and OSP is a much stronger positional and strategic advantage here. Tsunami's gonna go down here pretty quickly to this 100 millimeter. I think these tugs are trying to avoid firing more torpedoes into the suboxal. Gotta save those to deal with the capitals, because OSP doesn't have anything else that can deal with those. So if they storm out onto the map and start grabbing points... They're gonna... they're, they're gonna be able to do that. ANS, of course, doesn't know that OSP didn't bring any plasma. But I think they're starting to get to a point where they just have to take that gamble anyways. C90 and 100 mil shoots out a very impressive volley, but does pretty much no damage to this expert. <laughs> Downs the GPC in a track or later from uh, C90 sitting the bridge. But that is about it. Another big volley, a little bit more, a little bit more coming down here. Might be getting, uh, getting some more sand blasts going on here. Oh, some uh, support 450 fire. Okay, 450 can deal with the experts. No question there. It's really just a question of how long can these 450 ships survive. They are all quite empty. Quite empty. And they're taking a lot more than they're giving. Now the Torp Tug's headed for the Echo Point. The experts are going to be able to get on the Alpha Point and take it, or they are going to take a big volume of punishment for their troubles. And it looks like the Torp Tugs are actually flipping around to go after the Alpha Point instead of going for Echo. Which surprises the hell out of me. They can just take this. Aha! No? I thought this 
Shuttle might be going for the E point, but it is that is not happening either. Dark Dog is a little indecisive here because they've turned around and now they're turning back around. I'm not really sure where they want to go. Happens sometimes. Okay, one of the experts is on the alpha point. ANS not out of this yet. Taking a lot of C90 fire, but not enough to kill this before it captures this middle point here. Voxels hanging out on Delta to make sure that's under control. The other voxels are going out to Bravo, it looks like. Oh boy, and this might be the play that gets ANS back in this game. These voxels are going to be able to pounce onto the reloading bulk freighters and deal a ton of damage with that close range 250 HE and the broadside. These are dedicated gunships. These four bulk freighters are going to go down real quick. The No Shame doesn't have enough power to uh, charge its C65s. The takeaway girl is currently getting taken away. Alright, looks like the Torque Tugs have semi made up their mind and are going after the battleship. And it looks like the Settler is going after the Echo Point. And it's, yeah, it's going to be able to capture that. There's nothing down here to counter it. ANS has also grabbed the Charlie Point, avoiding the mines entirely. Completely missed this play out of Duke of Stars. I think he grabbed his uh, ship that was under the map. And sent it over onto the Charlie Point, avoiding that multi-mission tug. ANS has managed to swing this, swing this game around with a 4-cap. They might get a 5-cap. No, this shuttle is going to take the Echo Point before ANS can get that 5-cap. But the voxels are headed for the Bravo Point, so they are going to maintain the 5-cap for a while. Maybe. It looks like they're being a little safer with it. Not really surprises me. They might not know exactly what this bulk freighter has on it. Or they might be wanting to... Kill these ships off militarily first before just diving onto the point to try and capture it. Oh, the OSP. Yeah, they're taking the Elko point, and these boxes are being kind of slow about getting on the Rava. So, 3 to 2 lead for ANS is still pretty good, but they are, they are down 180 points. 190 points. Had a problem. I think 180 was correct. Yes, it was. There's. Yeah, okay. Men's apparently got nuked. I heard that explosion. Yeah, there it is. Womp womp. Sudarium of Oviedo. Going to be in great pain going forward. OSP is also dove on to Charlie with his multi-mission dog. I'm saying dove a lot today. Just this match. I'm not sure what that's about. The Dismal is on the Charlie point. It is capturing it. The uh, shuttle there, the sprinter there, is completely defanged. So OSP is going to be able to capture that here before too long. They're also capturing the Charlie point. No, that is the Charlie point. They're also capturing the Delta point. And another tug. Facing down a voxel. Unfortunately, this voxel is entirely defanged. Yeah, I'm surprised to see the voxels not just going after the Bravo point, considering they're ripping the bulk raiders to shreds. And I mean, that they can just rip the bulk raiders to shreds. 50 HE is going to annihilate any 450 bulk raider. And these are especially empty. So good. OSP has returned their four cap state. Yeah. And that, that's the ballgame. Anus can't capture Delta. They don't really have anything armed over there on that side of the map. They can't capture Charlie. They don't have anything armed in, on that side of the map. All they really have left is this battleship, these two voxels, which are playing Puck Puck games around Bravo. 
and this one Axford. So that Axford, this eh, I don't know. I mean, you could like throw that onto a point. It does. It is technically still armed. Yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty good game. I was expecting something a little more uh, a little more steel matey. But I think Goodnight was right. There's something in the water today that is making everyone incredibly violent. Or maybe it's just the lack of stack be stack games lately. are on the Bravo points. Should be able to secure it, but it, it's just too late. Our ship's gonna get on to Echo. Yeah, let's just grab an Alpha. The nearly Naked Axe is gonna try and throw it in reverse. And it's recognizes it's over. Good. I thought I was gonna have to call it. Yeah, that was a that was a really good match. It was a really good match. People were very violent. Here it is. A really cool map as long as you don't play it safe. Uh, the problem is playing it safe is very powerful. <laughs> it winds up making some boring games. So I don't know, maybe we come here more now that people have gotten better at uh, attacking defended positions. Because I think that's what has changed most of all in the past six or seven months. Is that players have gotten a lot better at fighting into those heavily reinforced positions. And actually getting something done instead of just throwing their lives away. Damn, I have way less damage out of those 450 bulkers than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's rough, buddy. That sucked. Are you thinking that a voxel on D was pretty? I, I wasn't expecting to kill that, like, to mission kill that voxel on D. I was not expecting you to kill it either. Yeah. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't mission kill it, it still had a gun alive. Uh, I, I I mean, like, I kept the point, that's what I mean. Yeah. It got temporarily mission killed. If I had known those monitors had no plasma at all, I would have been able to actually the baby on it. commit much, yeah. We could have actually committed a lot harder, because we were so scared, I was, we were so worried about that plasma threat. Straight up just didn't bring the right radar on my voxels, and I think that cost us the game. Also, the fact is, my bullseye was on the wrong shoulder of the Axford for most of the game. Oh, the Voxels had rebounds. Wow. I didn't even notice. Turns out being able to see the enemy and lock them is kind of important for yeah, I mean, the game. I've got a ship with 35% accuracy on. One of its shells, twenty five percent. Like the accuracy was so piss poor. We didn't have an LRT. Realized like, wait a minute, no. You hate to see it. What can you do? What were the line ships I was fighting on B? Because I didn't think I actually killed any of those. Uh, well, one, I didn't realize that drives make you go boom. Oh, I guess that. I guess that helps. Uh, hey, that so bloom killed, killed, killed my mind. Killed my minds there. That yes. you would have crossed. It was uh, when I saw that. I was like, wow. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? Did I did I knock out your antenna or something? 
Oh, right, just blue yeah. thing. Uh, and just yeah, oops. That was my bad. That's all good. When I was expecting to get hit by mines, I just didn't really care at that point because we basically lost the game. I mean, we won militarily. We killed a lot of stuff. That's true. Yeah, but it is a cap game. Yeah. Yeah, we did kind of get walked oh. over on caps. It's it's funny that you said you didn't bring the right radar because we didn't bring the right radar either. Either, and it came down to the cap game because like I didn't do anything. Oh. At, Internet Explorer did twelve thousand damage. Like the accuracy is still not great. That last ship that managed to finally cap A. Uh, you sent like three ships to try and cap A. What was the last? Was that also a shuttle? It was a tug. Yeah, a tug. Okay. I was like, I'm going to send the shuttle and the tug at the same time, but then the shuttle died so quickly. <laughs> that is an aorta game here on the Coliseum on the testing branch, which I, I think makes her updated like uh, just a few hours before we started this, just to make sure. Really there, really there with the cutting edge of quality of life, public testing branch. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but even on the, uh, I don't want to say less important, but maybe less stress testing needed patches, uh, it's, it's still fun to be on the testing branch. So, if you, dear viewer, want to play on the public testing branch, we don't have access to anything that uh, anyone else doesn't. We just organize games. Uh, if you want to play on that testing branch, come on down to the Coliseum Discord. Everybody's welcome. I'll have a link to that in the description for those of you who want to get experimental and fancy. And for those of you who don't, for those of you who just like watching, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. It means the world to me. Bloodsport just isn't the same without an audience. <laughs>